we're about to learn how to draw a street from above in one point perspective. What we're trying to achieve in the end is this image here. So I'm going to talk you through the steps. I'll also attach this as a PDF into Minerva. So what you'll need, you'll need a ruler, a pacer, an eraser. Okay. So to start off with, you're going to draw a horizontal line across the page. This time, this is not a horizon line. It is the middle of our street scene. In the center of this line, you need to put a cross. Now, we're going to draw four rectangles. They can be whichever size you like one in each of the corners of our page. So make them slightly different spacing, different sizes. The reason for this will become clear in a moment. Got a little fly coming into our scene here. It's paying us a visit. I'm actually going to make a irregular shape down here. You can have a go at doing this, kind of an L shape. Notice how the pacer is very helpful for creating nice, neat lines. You don't have to use a pacer, just make sure your pencil is nice and sharp. Okay, so now our next step is for each of the corners of our shapes, we're going to take lines back to the center. This will become clear what we're doing shortly. So continue like so for each of our corners. You Obviously, we would have a line that comes from here, but if you imagine that's inside, we wouldn't see it. So, continuing with all of my shapes, like so. This one's a little bit more complicated, so if you've tried to do the L shape, Let's see how that goes. So this time, we would see this part here, wouldn't we? And you can see that the line, if I continue it back through here, would go back to the vanishing point as well. Now, each of these is gonna become a building. So I'm gonna use horizontal and vertical lines to display my buildings. And then what you'll notice happens is if each of these rectangles becomes the top of a skyscraper. You can imagine us looking down like we were in a helicopter, looking down at the scene below. So a mixture of vertical and horizontal lines, notice that they join up and they give the base of our buildings. You could also do something on the horizon or central line this is not a horizon in this instance because we're looking down upon it. How you would deal with that? Well, very similarly, you come into the center like so, and then you need to pick a depth for the building. So if I put a little bit of shading on that so you can see it a bit better, that's the bottom of the building there. So I would like you now to have a go at trying to create this. Be Imaginative, maybe you want to put some windows on as well. You could even have a go at doing a big door for the entry, but remember that everything needs to come back to your central one point, hence one point perspective. All of your verticals must stay vertical. All of your horizontals must stay horizontal. Anything diagonal always comes back into that central one point of focus. So get creative and
and I will take your submissions for these online. I'll show you some information on the Minerva page. And each week we're going to have a gallery of your work. So let's see what you can come up with. Good luck, ladies.